All right, and we are live, right? Yes, we are. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. This is the last level of Doom Eternal. Um, this is the PS4 copy running on PS5 if you want to get very specific about it. But, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this last level and then, um, then do the DLC, which I have not touched yet. I have been in the main campaign for this many, many a time, though. So let's get... Uh, that's not the armor blast. This is, though. It's a very rare opportunity that you can actually snipe an enemy from far away while they while they can't actually do anything. So I'll take advantage where I can. Uh, no shotgun ammo. I don't think there's any challenges. Yeah, no challenges on this map because there's no point in getting a a, a sentinel cell if uh, you can't even really use it. After, well, I guess you can afterwards, but. For most people, you kind of beat the game, then you're done. You can still, like, revisit levels as much as you want with all your upgrades and whatnot. I think the use case for that's pretty diminished. Let's put some rockets on you. I didn't even notice the spider. Um, shit. That is a good time for the destroyer. Wait, yeah, if I can get away. Fuck. Okay. Uh, run. And I died. But I have 30 extra lives, and I'm probably gonna go through like. Let's estimate five or so in the final battle. So I should still be good. Ah, uh, shit. Thank you, this. I probably should have just busted out the uh, minigun a whole lot sooner. Let's get the arm blast for flying enemies. Can I... Yeah. Nope. Did blood punch him though. I'll take it. next-gen console upgrade they do for these. I imagine it'll just boost them up to 120, because right now it's just running at 60 FPS. But, uh, I've already played this game at 120 on my PC, and it looks pretty damn nice. Although the base uh, console versions, I guess this is technically the PS4 Pro version running on PS5, is uh, still a hell of a looker. Actually, you know what? I have been neglecting my big ass sword. So. Bye bye. And then. Just plop some heads off. Uh, this asshole, though. I got a weapon point out of it, so that is good. Come on. Oh, no fuel. 
Okay, I think that's everybody. But I did miss the uh, crucible charge. See, this is, this is what happens every single time I take like a decent amount of a break in between um, playing. And then obviously I'm streaming, so I'm not going to be uh, as fully attentive than if I wasn't. But um, yeah. <laughs> This game is definitely still a jump up from Doom 2016 in terms of difficulty. Uh, I think Doom 2016, I kind of almost exclusively played on what was basically the hard mode, and here I just kind of stick with on normal. And technically, yeah, I could just be playing on um, on hard here because I've, as you can see, I have plenty of lives. I'm not in any immediate danger of losing out on all that. But. Uh, I don't know, I think normal's basically the sweet spot for everything that's going on. Uh, what difficulty? Yeah, this is just on normal. I could bump it up, but... Uh, kind of, kind of the sweet spot, to be honest. Let's see... And, uh, I know for Doom 2016, there was a trophy for beating a level on, um the hardest difficulty, which was, you know, you take like two shots and you're dead. Uh, so obviously I kind of just went for the first level there. And uh, yeah, I, I would not, I cannot even fucking fathom playing through the entire game on that difficulty, let alone freaking Doom Eternal on that same difficulty. But so I've beaten it on hard mode, I want to say two times at least, maybe three. And granted, one of those playthroughs was on PC, where you're probably able to play a little bit more efficiently. But here I am with a controller. <laughs> so it is what it is. Yeah, I did it purely for that achievement. And um, I actually have the Platinum for Doom 2016. Um... I was a little bit annoyed that you did have to do some multiplayer stuff for it. I generally don't like multiplayer achievements in what is, in what are basically single player games that have like a little bit of a tacked on multiplayer mode. Ah, shit. I can use that. But they weren't too bad in 2016. It maybe took me three, four hours to like kind of to wipe up the rest of them. And the multiplayer in Doom Eternal is actually pretty good if you want to get invested in it. I'm just not a multiplayer guy these days. And they it takes so much more effort to get them in here. So I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. But aside from that, I have every single other achievement on the Xbox version. And then this is my first playthrough on the... Um, on PlayStation, so... I uh, don't quite have all the trophies oh, yet. Never found a match. Multiplayer Something ones for 16. Truly I remember doing it, getting the platinum, I want to say like two years ago. So that'd be like, what, 2018? I don't remember having too much of an issue jump jumping into matches. Oh, you had two friends to help you in Eternal. You are freaking lucky because I was just playing against randoms. And I think like one of the... Um, when achievements or trophies is like get a kill with each weapon. I'm just like, okay, that's cool. I'll just kind of cycle down as I go. But um, actually finishing off each enemy with specific weapon and ammo, there's like so many variables. I'm just like, oh, this is actually going to take forever. <laughs> so I just kind of gave up. Because playing as Doom Guy is really freaking fun in multiplayer. But um, if I had one complaint about the Doom Eternal multiplayer, it would be. I don't like the fact that uh, the enemy demons can just constantly respawn. So you'll kill one, and then the other person will just hide for, I think it's like 20, 30 seconds, something like that, while the other person just respawns. And you have to have both of them killed at the same time. So I'm just like, eh. Let's see, freeze, punch, spam grenades. Uh, 
Wait, I forgot I can store it. So, oh, did not mean to do that. Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> You need to find this freaking uh, buff. There you are. I think that's most of them. Your friends helped you the bloodbath one, kill 200 players on battle mode. It actually reminds me of um, there's a bunch of like super hard achievements to get in uh, Halo 3. Like one of them was get like a double. Was it a double kill or get like five mongoose splatter kills? So that's like the tiny little. It's not a motorcycle. It's like a tiny little ATV that you have to run people over with. It's like there's no way you're going to be able to do that legitimately in a match. So your only real option was to jump in a rumble pit with like seven other friends in order to cheese it. And uh, I think that's basically how I had to do it. Uh, the truce between demons was awful to do too. Just play matches, healing players. It's like actually pretty in depth, and I haven't gone back to it since basically this game came out. Wow, that actually feels like this game came out freaking years ago, and that was only back in March. <laughs> I guess that's just uh, 2020 in a nutshell, though. Oh, I didn't even see you up there. I always freaking rush in on these guys, even though I know they do their stupid little AoE thing. Let's see, I forget. How do you get in there? And this game came out like right at the like what two weeks into into quarantine too, so it kind of hit me like right at the right spot. I was already working from home and everything. How do I get? I don't even think there's anything in here. Um, guess I'll just go. For some reason, yourself and another random player got stuck in a match with a Doom guy who just tried to kite us, but never really killed us. Single match gave you 40k healing out of the necessary 50k. Like, like when I played it, my what well, my main strategy had to had to wind up be, uh, becoming just out of necessity was do enough damage to both demons so that you can kill them almost simultaneously. But then with the healing also just makes it a huge giant pain in the ass. Because you know if you just focus on one, then the other person still has full health and then they're just gonna regenerate and it's a whole big mess. Part of me, like as unique as it is uh, compared to just a regular deathmatch, I kinda did like the regular deathmatch in uh, 2016. I would have been fine with them just copy pasting that and then also having the, um, I think it's called battle mode in here, the multiplayer. Shit, attack demon. Actually, I oh know that's the wrong power up. From what I, the only thing I've heard about the DLC, I admittedly haven't looked too much into it because I already knew I was going to play it either way. I was just kind of waiting for it to go on sale. Um, I've heard Justin say good things about it. Uh, I don't remember exactly what Justin had said about it either, though. I just remember he said it's a good time, play it. I'm like, okay, I'm down. Then again, I'm pretty weird about when it comes to like trailers and stuff. So, you, like, if something hooks me, I just kind of disassociate from like the entire press tour or anything like that. It's not bad, just assholeish. As long as it's not Marauder's level of assholeish, I think I'll be okay. Come on. Oh, and that did not count. Okay. I thought that would have. But I am wrong. Is it just like a bunch of enemies at the same time? A weird mix? Maybe some new ones? 
There we go. It's just pre prepare thyself. <laughs> uh, I might have gotten myself into uh, quite a situation with that then. Damn, DLC came out a while ago too, so I've been... I don't know, I just had like so many other things to play, I haven't had the chance to uh, get around to it. Here's our buddy over there. Alright, got the crucible. Is it this fight or the next one? That's a giant pain in the ass. I think it's the next one. So I'm just gonna be an asshole and do this for a quick minute. Is that even. Hitting him? I don't think so. Now, story-wise, the DLC is phenomenal. I've kind of read through like all the codexes. Um, like the first time I played this, I kind of ignored them. Then the second time, I actually took the time to read through them. Is the is the story basically the same in that regard? Where it's the uh, the lore things that you're reading, or is it more of a in-your-face active story? Okay, um, you know what? Oh, not free. Not free. God damn it, no. There we go. <laughs> Good times it's showing, but holy crap, that was, uh, not what I was trying to do. Shit, um. Let's get rid of you. The active story, lots of great implications. Nice. And there's another one of you. Shit. And there's entirely way too many of you in my face. Let's see if I can get you out of the way at least. Of course, they're behind. Little pinky. Oh. Rockets. Gonna nope. The fuck out. Uh, I could actually use more ammo. Oh, god damn it. Um, I forget where this one is. I think it's up there. And of course, yep, there it is. Just get you out of the way. Too many mob enemies right here. I don't know both those freaking. Oh, there's. Okay, they're both right there. Oh, he's down. Don't know where the other one. Unless he got killed by a grenade, which I doubt. Okay. Uh, oh, still you. Okay, well that was an intense, uh, about like five minutes or so, probably only like two. i uh, really curious on what they'll do with the second and final DLC. I mean, you're kind of building my expectations up, so I'm excited to see, uh, what even the first part is. 
Um, I'm surprised I didn't at least lose a life there. Like, yeah, I could probably crank this up to to hard. It just feels weird because normally I do play games on hard, but for streams, it's like it's so different trying to focus. I gotta say, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the, the first part of our uh, Game Awards we did for Game Session, I am a little butthurt that Doom Eternal didn't win a single freaking award. <laughs> didn't win Game of the Year, didn't win Best Soundtrack. Uh, my, my spaghetti is very slightly upsetty. I guess that's just kind of what happens when uh, not everyone on a show plays the same things. Everyone kind of has different tastes and whatnot. So whenever I... Going forward, I, I, I guess I kind of always knew, but now that I've experienced it personally, um, I will never hold it against an outlet if something doesn't win, because, you know, first of all, it's just opinions, but second of all, I realize now just like, yeah, it's kind of a popularity contest based on what everyone plays. People can't really vote for what they haven't um, experienced themselves. So I do not begrudge anybody or any outlet for anything like that. But Doom definitely got snubbed and my spaghetti will be upsetting. Alright, so I think it's this yeah, it's this fight that always sticks out in my mind is freaking insane. Alright, so I need to use this blood punch. I'd rather use it while I can. I just stay in the air near them, I can kind of circumvent their AoE. I got a blood punch. Oh. Uh, can I make it in time? Yes. So, I just constantly want to be able to pull these off. Oh, there we go. Another blood punch. It's like if you're gonna play one shooter of the year, this is like the one. Basically, is what I tell everyone. Like, cause I know like Corey, for example, just is not a big shooter guy. But I tell him like, hey, if you're gonna play one shooter out of the entire year, even in the decade, this is probably the one that you want to do. Uh, let's get. You know what? I can't even get these other guys out of the way because they just keep spawning as long as the Marauder's alive. So that's not really gonna help me out too much. Or no, maybe I can get the Revenant out of the way. But I'll keep spawning the uh, mob ones. Uh, shit. I 
that jump pad, but I will take it. Did he not? What? I freaking punched him, but... Yeah, I don't know what was up with that arch file. I definitely, at the very least, punched him. Don't know why the glory killed it at Shigger. Uh, got a blood punch, because he's not. Nope, that's not everyone. All right, there we go. Oh, well. My setup for the stream is a little weird. Probably, probably more weird because I use the same capture card for my DSLR for other streams as I do is to capture this. So it's a bit of a Oh, a bit of a wiry mess behind my computer at the moment. Um, okay, so we need to go over there. Didn't even have to use the BFG. And I just like to do situations without using them unless I absolutely have to. Even though I know I could have used that shot and I can replenish my entire store of ammo with that one, but... I don't know. I admit I'm weird with that. Soon, the gods will walk amongst us once again. Only then shall we find salvation. Yeah, and there's like basically no. Yes, I already got the one collectible. This one, I believe you can snipe them over here. If I can freaking land a hit. And I can't. <laughs> Come on. I just cannot freaking hit you. It's a really fun level. It's, it's basically linear, but and it's not even I don't even want to say like the most interesting of environments because it's still interesting. You know, it's basically just a ruined uh, earth. You're jumping across skyscrapers and whatnot. But it's just so freaking tightly designed. I don't even think I actively dislike any of the levels in here. I think they're all pretty stellar. I think if I had to pick like any of the weak ones, it'd maybe just be, I don't know, maybe ones where you're waiting on platforms to move so that you can do your thing versus here where you can just go as fast as you want. It even gives you a tutorial for basically every enemy, including the boss. Um, so yeah, let's just start whaling on. We'll save that orb for later. Oh yeah. And of course, other enemies are going to spawn in. Because why not? Eight elementals. Um, got some grenades for you. It's kind of funny how cacodemons have just turned into such a joke. 
uh, and, and Eternal. Well they, well, they can still do a good amount of damage, but as long as you have grenades, you're basically set. Focus on you for now. you're still alive. There we go. Oh, fuck. What the hell happened there? I do need ammo very desperately, though. Can't even lock on to you. Shit. I need more ammo. Oh, frick. Killed the pain elemental for me. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I need... Nope, oh, wrong, wrong button. Don't necessarily want to use that right now. Now I can use that orb if I can get to it. So I need to get up here. There we go. I need ammo that's going to instantly travel, not stuff like rockets or their projectiles. I need hit scan stuff. You know what? I totally forgot. Um, I have this. This is basically the only part of the game I actually use it. Alright, now let's grab that. Yeah, actually, no. Let's use all of it. And then throw. I just find the BFG to be so much more useful than this, and basically every context of the main gameplay. How are you not dead? I put so many rockets in you. Well, 
was a good way to spend my quarantine hours. Like, I gotta be honest, I'm really itching to get back to work. I just feel so off base um, when I don't have that set, when I don't have, like, that schedule. It's like, yeah, sure enough, when I'm at work, I'm, I'm wishing I'm at home, but you kind of desire the one thing when you, when you don't have it. And I got smushed. Got smushed quite bad. Let's do that one more time, except punch. He's still kicking. Um, come on, let's get rid of that arm. Nope. That one's done. I think it's just the left, or I guess his right, their right, my left. And one more. Yeah, maybe one more. There we go. Nice, nice butt cheeks over there, though. With the armor fully destroyed, the body is now exposed. Take the portal and finish this right, fight. I should grab any collectibles while I have a chance. Um, I've surprisingly not used this. I will, I will need to very soon. Um, I can grab ammo whenever. I'm more so looking. Oh, there is health down here. Where was that freaking? Here we go. I think that's about it. Alright, so... Final, final boss time. Maybe I should have put the freaking Icon of Sin on the hottest dudes list. He's got a big set of cheeks on him. Shoot his, uh, shoot his boobies off. Jesus Christ. Okay, um... the Unmaker. I should just do a good job of peppering just about everything. Okay, let's get some more ammo. Where's a weak enemy? Kill you. Get you out of the way. Basically, not even worth um, killing all the mob enemies just because they're going to keep respawning. Jesus. And there's a lot of those guys. Alright, 
so completely destroyed his uh, his left titty. Face. I mean, even realistically, if the Icon of Sin survives this fight, they're gonna like die from infection at this point, right? Gonna get some gangrene going on. Oh, ammo time. Shit. Uh, don't have any more fuel. I think you might be a bit far from the grenades this time. The minigun and the cannon are my best friends here. There's another. So what, I think it's this horse zone is two forearms. There we go. Uh, Oh, there is a PMG ammo. Let's aim for that tummy. Alright, so now it's just that arm. Counted right there. We go. Can all the enemies stop fighting me now? I, I beat you, right? There we go. I don't think there's many great first-person boss battles, but if I had to, like, make a list of them, this would probably be one of them on there. And I feel like a lot of shooters kind of have to rely on, let's bring in a bunch of mob enemies, but I think it really, really works here. And plus, obviously, there's a big old spectacle of big demon in face. <laughs> I think it's basically this point every time I've played it, especially including the first time I've been like, yeah, I just fucking love this game. This game is fucking rad. And you will be the savior. Your strength will be the shield. And your will the sword. Out of uh, curiosity, Dio. Um, actually, you do feel that there's better bosses on 16, but isn't bad at all. I really... I actually really like the Spider Mine um, boss fight in 16. The Cyber Demons. Cyber Demon's good. And then. Oh no, yeah, there was those two uh, worms hiding in the little rock Elias. Yeah, you're probably right that 2016 has the better boss battles overall. The. Because um, what? There's a Gladiator one in here in Eternal. Uh, Icon of Sin. And I guess you can count the uh, Doom Hunter, but that just becomes a regular mob enemy. Yeah, I, I don't care for the Gladiator on Eternal. It's just more um, wait for me to attack before you can do it, which I know the Marauder does as well. But even the first Marauder boss battle basically has a health of a regular one. 
Yeah, the gladiator is pretty eh. Plus, it's just weird because the entire level that um, that they're in, um, there's no combat up until that point either. So kind of just like, okay, here's we're at zero and now we're at like 120. <laughs> So back to the Fortress of Doom. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask, do you have any, I guess, don't not early contenders. It's already at the end of the year. Uh, do you have any contenders for Game of the Year for yourself personally? Game complete. Um, so, yeah, we'll jump on over to the DLC. Let me see if there's anything I missed. I think it's a little... Um, the unlockables you can get. No, I guess I already got that. Maybe not. I don't think I had the cells at that point, so I'll go grab those. Hades? I really freaking need to play it. Like, I have heard nothing but great things, and, and then especially hearing, um... Was it a Kotaku article where they're talking about where they enforce, uh, the studio enforced, uh, 20, 20 off days a year? And um, no, no work emails. No, I guess I already did get it. Never mind. And then no work emails on weekends, because like that was that's what fucking killed me with my last job. It's like I couldn't escape it even on my off days. It was insane. Uh, though, if you're gonna go from the VGA list, most of those are deserving game of the year. I don't think there's a single bad game on that list. I think 2020 was just a phenomenal year. And uh, I'd be happy to see any of them win, even though I personally have not played Animal Crossing, but my girlfriend is absolutely in love with it. So let's see some of the trophies I missed, actually. Um, I, I, I'm being very obsessive about this, even though I've already uh, gotten all these on Xbox. Yeah, I would say probably Tsushima is the weakest link, and I think that's what the consensus for the game session crew basically was, is that it's a it's a damn great game, but it's basically just an Assassin's Creed open world. Master all weapon mods, I can do that real quick. I think I have the points for it. Uh, multiplayer, multiplayer, multiplayer. What's this one? Beat all encounters and mission challenges and find all items in Terrace Nabot. Okay, I did not... Okay, so yeah, that's the one mission where I didn't get the challenges. So that I can go back to at any point. And I'll just do that uh, later. But as for mastering these... I can't even necessarily think about, like, a bad thing about Ghost of Tsushima, but yeah, it's just... There's nothing spectacular? Alright, so we got that trophy. And I won't do the mission right now, I'd rather just jump into the DLC and I'll go back and do the challenge on my own time. Um, might even be easier to do on an easier difficulty, I guess. Mission selects. Terrace Nabod. Wait, is that not the mission it said? I did the challenges there. Did I? Exploration 25. Challenges. Got all of them. Because the challenge... The one I didn't get the whole challenges for was... Wait, wasn't there a mission where I fucked up on killing the... I don't remember doing these challenges, but it's saying that I... Got them. Uh, that's weird. Maybe it glitched out. Because I don't remember doing that. Hidden trophy. Beat all encounters and mission challenges. Okay, I think that's glitched, because I've done everything there according to the in-game completion tracker. 25-25. Is there something else I missed? Okay, yeah, I guess it's just glitched. This game PS5 version doesn't uh, like me. 
I'll have to Google that, I guess. All right, so let's go to the main menu. All right, Ancient Gods 1. We'll just do it on normal, I guess. I guess this would have its own little uh, trophy list too. You know, I gotta fix my TV's local dimming. It's kind of weird. Previously on Doom Eternal, that game that you were just playing. <laughs> Let's see, settings. I really like the font that they use for all this, too. I can probably download it pretty easy. Someone's probably made it for, like, Adobe and whatnot. I knew it was here. Sir! Weather's disrupting the signal, but we'll be able to teleport him onto the rig's main deck. Uh, Dr. Hayden, I'm ready to launch the package, sir. Whenever you're ready. I'm so glad they even bothered we to do story DLC, whereas 16 was all multiplayer you DLC. When you awaken the icon of sin in their world, the balance between their two dimensions has been broken with the demons now in control of Erdak. Portal ready in three, two. I'm assuming you don't keep any of your upgrades from your main campaign playthrough. So I guess I'm gonna start from scratch. Which I'm kinda down for, I guess. actually reminds me a lot of uh, Crisis 3's opening level. That is some nice rain detail on the weapon, though. Uh, let's see, are there any challenges? Nope, just the meta ones. Oh, I actually do have that fully kitted out. Arsenal. Oh, shit. Yeah, everything... Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's a nice... Uh, a little surprise, I guess. The UAC won't hand over the Seraphim without a fight. Yeah, okay. Just straight back on into it. Nice. I'm assuming that's just the... Uh, that's just the DLC thing. That's not accounting my other stuff. Because it's a completely different uh, save file. Oh, you know what? Uh runes though I yeah I don't care for that um that I'll keep speed boost and then what was the other one I used enemies killed by equipment a while under the influence yes so that's kind of the loadout I use because I want to be able to get as many glory kills as possible from far away uh, speed boost is really nice and I use a lot of equipment so using more equipment to get more equipment is a good workflow Am I, is my suit pin? Oh, yeah, okay, damn. Everything is unlocked. Nice. At this point, though, it just feels so weird to have a realistic environment fight in.
I can't even imagine what the hell it'd be like trying to go back to uh, something like Doom 3 after this, or after, uh, even after 2016 Doom. Doom 3 is basically the antithesis as to, it's, it's just the antithesis to why I love this game. Can I go around this way? No. Oh, there's armor though. That's through that door. I assume I gotta open it somewhere. It'll probably happen naturally. Maybe. Maybe not. It says there's the second floor to this place. But that's from. Was there not. Was that door locked up there? Sorry, I'm very compulsive when it comes to trying to get all the collectibles. Which is funny because um, the first time I played Doom 2016, I absolutely didn't care about doing that. And it's weird because you can play this as just like the most straight up shooter in the world, but if you add wanting to get the collectibles and upgrades and whatnot, it becomes a little bit more of like a Metroidvania and it's pretty cool. Alright, so key card, so we can go back upstairs. Oh, that not Okay. Uh that's the second time the glory kill has not worked through it. Nothing aggravating apparently, but I am very eager to see how that manifests. Oh, that is not the upgrade I like. Um... That is not the upgrade I like either. If I had to make a wild guess as to what's probably going to win the SDGC game of the year, I'd probably have to go... Knowing everyone on there, probably Final Fantasy VII Remake or Hades. Probably leaning... I, I feel like Final Fantasy is like even in a weird spot because it wasn't even that long ago that it realistically came out. But it feels like a million years. I, it, it does feel like a million years. I think it came out during COVID too, or even a little bit beforehand. I, I really don't remember. So I'm uh, no, because everyone there really likes Final Fantasy, so I'm probably gonna say Final Fantasy. I also feel like the best moment from the game session awards thing that we were doing. I feel like finally beating Final Fantasy 7 on hard mode would have been a better, would have been a bigger winner if other people in the podcast had done it, but it's hard to win and convince if you're literally the only one that's experienced the thing. Do I have the con maker? I do. Um... Looks like I might have to use it. I don't really have any ammo. Definitely feels like um, I'm tossing more enemies into you in a smaller space because I basically 
haven't really gone anywhere in this map yet. I've started there. Fought enemies down there, up there. So they're making more... They're getting more value out of the space that they're using, basically, is what it feels like. Which isn't a bad thing. Because the core gameplay loop is freaking chef, ki chef kiss perfection, so I'm more than happy for it. Power demon. There you are, buddy. animation through the door. Okay. Um, okay, so there's not that many collectibles here. And I do have the suit upgrade that should show me where every single one is, so there's not going to be one for I want to say a while, but I have a feeling like I'm going to get jetted out from right here. Or some weird platforming. Let's just get you out of the way. level so far though. Kind of typically with DLCs you see a uh, big drop in quality but this is cool. Plus as weird as it is to say it's kind of almost refreshing to have like a normal human world to, to play in because so much of Doom Eternal is, does not take place there. Stand too close or have the reticle linger on it for too long and it hides. Um, okay. Yeah, the rifle seems perfect for this. There we go. And yeah, they're even bringing in new enemies, so that's cool. There's another. Thank God for the frickin' uh, little bit of lock on you get with the controller. This would probably be a bit more of a pain in the ass with the, with the keyboard. Maybe not. I don't know. At least it's not doing that much damage. At least you can, like, kind of ignore it for a little bit, I guess. I really didn't use the uh, scope mode much my first couple of playthroughs, except for the uh, the uh, maker enemies. But I've been using it a lot more since then. It's just really efficient for taking out smaller uh, smaller groups.
It does feel a little weird coming from this directly after uh, being the main campaign. Because, obviously, you know, at the end of a game, it's going to be significantly harder. And this is considerably more chill. Not as chill as the beginning of, of, of the main campaign. But it's definitely more of a reset of, like, oh, yeah, here's the story DLC that came out after the game was released. Um, you basically remember how to play, but we're not going to toss you right in the uh, right in the deep end of the pool in terms of difficulty. This won't stop spawning. And I'm just assuming that's going to be a perpetual trend for a little bit. Um, you mean... Oh, don't tell me I grab this at basically the point where it's redundant. First, is that why they keep spawning? I was about to say, usually they only keep spawning mob enemies when there's a bigger one you still have to wipe out. Unless it's literally just those are I'm supposed to kill these guys immediately, too. Yeah, I guess it's decided to kill all. How do I get in there? There is a extra light. wrong. We're possibly overthinking this. Oh, there is a thing to smash over there, though. There is that right there. Let's trust where this thing eats me. Yeah, they are really in the most out of these environments. It'd probably bother me more if it was in the main game, but given that this is a DLC, especially since it was made in COVID conditions, I, I do not fault it. Uh, admittedly, though, I would say it's probably not my preference to have it face like this. Like the main game just has like such a momentum where you're constantly going into new environments. But it is definitely more doom, and I can't complain with more doom. Let's 
good. This is good. Probably gonna be much against this guy. It's always the gargoyles I can't get the lock on. Maybe something all the way up there. Probably not gonna get to that for a while. that very tinge in uh, sarcasm. I mean, it is fun. Uh, the only time I really have an issue with the Marauders is when there's like so many other freaking enemies in the uh, in the arena with you, and he's constantly spawning the dog. You have to take your cursor off him so you can focus on the dog, and it's so... Uh, yeah. Individually, not so bad once you get the hang of it. I thought you didn't need to waste that shot on him, but... Oh well. <coughs> oh, that water did not go down the wrong pipe. Oh no, it did go... <laughs> Went down the wrong pipe, did not go down the right one. <coughs> ah, oh well. There's a secret encounter down there. You thought you were being sneaky. I'm just gonna wait for that turret to pop back up. Shit. I forgot about that. Oh, I got fucking yeeted. Oh, you know what? Somebody was... So, give me one moment. Got a message to send. Actually, you know what? Give me, give me like one minute. I will be right back, okay?
All right, sorry about that. Um, I'm kind of jumpy with getting phone calls nowadays. And by nowadays, I mean the last three days because I'm just waiting on freaking test results to see if I freaking have COVID or not. Uh, so yeah, as, as suspected, it was a freaking scam. Fucking scam. Oh, new action figures, cool. Hell yeah. Uh, how do we get back though, is the question. Oh, metal grates, there we go. Gotta jump on that, don't I? I'll wait for that to reset. Book of the Saris parts one and two. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can speed read this real quick. Alright, so... Oh, whoops, I'm gonna back all the way out. Ultimately not, like, super important for the main story, but it's a nice... It's nice lore. Okay, so I guess that switch is... See, it, does, it doesn't even make sense having these... In the world, in the world, because it's like, are the regular dock workers here? It's just like punching these switches too, or they got some kind of weird hammer system? What's, what's going on? All right, so where's this going to? So this is actually pretty cool. There's a thing to shoot there. Oh, did it just push me off? No, 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 no. Okay. There we
The music's still pretty good. Um, I believe... I'd probably have to, you know, play through the whole thing to verify, but, um... I believe this is all new music for it? They used a different composer uh, than Mick Gordon because, you know, they had their little falling outs, and there's been details, mainly from Bethesda's side, as to why things went wrong. But I, I would assume there's much more at play than either side has stated. So I don't necessarily just want to chalk that up to, uh, Mick Gordon didn't deliver and he's being an ass. I, I don't want to chalk it up to that. But it does basically seem like it came down to, um... Andrew Holshit is doing the DLC soundtrack, if you recall correctly. You see, uh, the name... Yeah, I remember the name because the, the last name is a bit odd. I mean, he was still an ass throwing Chad under the bus for absolutely no reason. Yeah, that is absolutely true. Um, as well as if people were, like, comparing the stuff, and he said, like, that's not what I would have done. Like, that's, it's a pretty snide remark to toss out either way, especially from what uh, Bethesda had alleged had happened, where Mick just couldn't deliver and he wasn't keeping them updated, and I fucked that jump up. I have to... Oh, I have to turn it on and then use it. Okay. Yeah, uh, Mick's not, not free of, of uh, guilt in the, in the whole affair. I feel like so much of it, or that relationship, could have been steadied if... Because what did it come down to? It came down to like some weird legality over the special, or... Not the special edition, yeah. Like, the special edition came with the Doom soundtrack, and if they weren't able to deliver it by a specific time, they could face uh, litigation from... I don't remember if it was America or something like that. But basically, they were covering their asses from the law, and so they needed that soundtrack then and there. Um, so yeah, I don't know the exact details of, of the contract, like how, I, I, I would actually just have to go back and reread exactly what, um, fuck, what's the guy's name? Martin Hugo? I could be getting that wrong, I think, I don't think Hugo's his first, I'm pretty sure it's his last. Um, where obviously the original deal was here, make the game soundtrack, but then also remix everything for like an actual soundtrack in and of itself that you just listen to as an album. But yeah, no reason to throw Chan under the bus, especially since it's like, hey, we need to get this out the door. We're going to use our own guy who we know is reliable to get this done since um, for one reason or the other, you haven't been able to do it. Um, so if anything... I don't, I don't want to say Mick should have put the blame somewhere else, but like, yeah, absolutely, don't don't be an asshole with Chad. He's, he's literally just doing his job. Um, there's something up there, but I can't get there yet. It's gotta do some platforming. And then, okay, there's... That it? Okay, yes, that was, that was it. It's just kind of such a shame to have the whole thing happen before now. You can go look at, like the no clip documentaries that go like super crazy in depth with um, the development behind Doom and Doom Eternal, and then you look at even uh, Doom's own own uh, promotional videos where they're like saying like, "Wow, look at this Mick Gordon guy, he's so cool," and to just have that devolve so rapidly post uh, Eternal release is uh, disheartening.
I did appreciate the transparency from uh, from Martin. Though. Even probably more so because he did it um, with the explicit purpose of standing up for Shad and saying like, hey, this harassment is fucked up, you can't do it. Uh, here's some details as to what actually happened. into the music to, to mess with the mix, but because even in the base game, like the game effect. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to mess with the sound mixing myself. But just even listening to the music, it doesn't have that same bassy bottom end, like that jet factor. It's definitely more on the electronic side, but then again, that can just be for this level um and it's, i think it's just quieter in the mix but it's still good i'd have to probably listen to it like isolated outside of the game to evaluate it That's a second time. That is... Damn it. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm liking the OST so far, but I kind of have the same impression where it's not jumping out to me when I'm just like... I necessarily remember it. It's more background noise than before. And maybe it's just because I had already listened to like a lot of prog metal, a lot of jet stuff before Doom 2016 even came out. So like when it, this so 2016 soundtrack came, I'm just like, oh damn, this is already up my alley. So maybe I'm just like tuned into like the finer details of like that specific sound. I don't know. I'm kind of glad I'm not playing this on hard right now. <laughs> I need ammo. Shit. Oh, I am so fucking. I think I see what you mean. There's a lot of battles and very small arenas, and there's a lot of shit going on. Oh, 
Oh, god damn. Okay, I need to avoid there because there's a Cybermancubus. And there's a fucking Duma. Oh, okay, this is a lie. <laughs> Just got tired of my shit. Just move. Shit. Okay. I am so close. Let's let's not fuck this up. Okay, that. <laughs> All right, that that was tough. I will. I missed a thing down there. I missed a thing. Shit. Maybe I can. There we go. Okay, I think. Is that what you're referencing? That it can be rough or <laughs> just like hard. Or there's probably even tougher stuff coming along, because that was a small arena combined with a lot of enemies, a lot of tough enemies. There's a lot of, oh god, that was tough. I'm not prepared, oh no, it's only going to get worse. Jeez. Is there going to be like five marauders at the same time? <laughs> hey River, how's it going? Hope you came uh, to witness me dying a lot because I that, that apparently that's going to be the ongoing trend Slayer, going Sarah, forward. The key is close. I'll mark it on your HUD. I kind of like having um, What's his name? A hundred marauders. Oh no. Um, I kind of liked having Samuel Hayden in your ear for the latter half of Eternal, and then obviously the, not even the majority, just like the entirety of uh, 2016. Not so sure of the. Oh, you were not fucking kidding. Just spawned right behind me. Speaking of small arenas. Come on. There we go. Alright. No one gonna spawn behind me? Cool. <laughs> I guess you can say this facility was uh, rigged to explode. And I make no apologies for that. Yeah, the game can definitely be complex with uh, all the different kinds of enemies and obviously all the tools you have at your disposal. 
It's a uh, real-time version of chess, basically. <laughs> Except everything in chess is trying to stab you and rip you apart. I probably should use it for ammo. Oh well. Shit. Um, there's a lot more shield enemies. Which works for me because if you're using the right weapon, it's they're no big deal. Shots. If I could not deal with the spider at the moment, though. Okay. Of course, he has a high ground. Oh, do not block me from the. Jesus Christ. That was the worst possible second to do that. So, looks like we're just on mop-up duty now. Where? There we go. Uh, yeah, this game looks complex. It's probably because it is. <laughs> There's so many moving parts. Shit. 
something over oh no so that's the way we need to go but we're gonna get the collectibles and whatnot shit I do not have a slayer key which I assume would be god damn it Oh, and it's okay. That is a good cut move. Putting one right in here. I have nowhere to run. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, they know what they are doing with these. That was so intentional to be a dickhead move. Thank, thank God I had a freaking freeze bomb. Alright, so the key is over there. But I probably have to jump from somewhere over here to grab it. Okay, there's a swing. There we go. Oh, fuck you, sir. Right, wait one more time for the pop out. There we go. This is actually some really good um, level design and <laughs> very uh, humorous uh, enemy spawns. As fucked up of a situation that was, I'm taking the hats off to whoever made that decision. Do I just not have extra lives? Oh no, I guess the most of the extra lives I got in the main campaign came from like super early on where it's uh, the difficulty's toned down. This is, uh, I don't even want to say comparable to um, the end of Doom Eternal because like I'm dying a whole lot right here. All right, let's try that one more time. I do like 
like the environment here for the uh, Slayer game. taking care of most of the major enemies. a fucking arch file. One, two, two. A frickin' tyrant in? I think it fucking did. Yeah, it did. Support runes, that's new. Blood punch deals double damage and your health is 75 or less. That sounds incredibly fucking useful. When demon Oh, these are all incredibly useful. I'm probably gonna go with the blood punch one though. I assume you can probably get all of them. Oh, okay, never mind. You can only have one support rune. The extra life one would be nice if I had any extra lives to fucking use. It's good to know that they're still adding stuff in, though. Um... How do I get to you? I don't imagine we can use the swingy thing. It's probably another method to get there. Yeah, no, because that's walled off.
God, I love the blood punch so much. right down there. How do I get to you safely? Plus there's that secret room. Let's get up higher first, I guess. I assume we drain this level, maybe? What happens when I try to go over here? swim. Not very long, apparently. Um, we can probably go... Oh, there we go. Oxygen. Well, this is apparently supposed to... Um, is the water poisonous? Or... Think, 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 think. There is a thing beneath here. What do I do? Okay, so if I go beneath here, there should be a thing I go through. Maybe I can activate it. Because there's also that, and there's a secret room. There we go. Yep. Come on up. There was the thing. What do I do? What do I do now? What else can I do here? Is that it? Is that it? There's a ton of HP indicating it when you die. Guess I just gotta get out of here now. I guess I just don't know how to... Activate those things to open. Yeah, because it's supposed to give you air, so I'm thinking like maybe that water is toxic for whatever reason. Come on. Is that what I need? The dive suit? Okay. So that's what I was missing. being opened okay so let's try that again there we go <laughs> right. I was wondering why those canisters weren't doing anything I probably have less than optimal health and ammo but here we go. And of course it's a room full of pinkies. Did I miss one? 
literally just freaking uh, regular enemy. Nice. Alright, so we got that. Um, then we can go get that ammo. purpose that practically serves in the ship, but okay. Nice destruction going on, at least. Um, where do I go? Up there. They just kind of stumbled up. an extra life. Those are in very rare commodity though. I think they realize there's probably too many in the base game.
behind here. Fuck, where is it? There you are. Uh, the frame rates may be dropping a tiny bit, but it's pretty stable for me. I am keeping an eye on the stream, though, and it seems to be pretty stable. I haven't got any notifications for, like, dropped frames or anything. So it's good that, uh, got him with the last rocket there. Seraphim's body is in a secure location, a thousand feet below the main deck. I've marked the best access point. Went on 30s for some second there. That's that's weird. Um, he's like I, I can't even necessarily. I guess I can pinpoint some factors as to why this is harder than the main campaign. It's just more enemies, tougher, tougher variants, um, smaller, smaller combat arenas. And then, man, I'm gonna remember that tyrant spawn for fucking forever. That was. Grade A dickhead move in like the best way possible. Um, is that in? No, that is a turret. Shit. Gotta get out of this stupid electricity. In case we didn't get the last one, I guess. Or was there anything? That is a big old mapped out area for there to allegedly be nothing. Let's see, what are you hiding? Some kind of Easter egg, maybe? There we go. Yeah, don't try to fool me. If you put something on the map, there's got to be something there. Even if it's not marked. It's also nice to just see full-on little cutscenes and uh, custom animations as compared to some other DLCs where it's just, I don't know, here's more levels. Alright, so do I have to, yep, I guess I have to swim. 
And is that a shark? Can I punch the shark? What's up, dude? Can I... No, can't shoot. What the fuck is those snake? What? That's a snake mouth over there. Okay. Alright, I am drowning now. Seraphim was the loyal aid to the father. You and every human on this planet owe your reality to them. Uh, let's see, there's a big old ring. This expansion is very tired now. Diving sections, it looks like. Okay, I was not expecting there'd be so many uh, underwater things. And usually I hate underwater levels in games. But this isn't super intrusive. It's kind of straightforward. There's not an incredible amount of secrets. Well, this just screams battle arena. You know? you know, we just have portals here for no reason. Oh, okay. Oh, you are not freaking kidding, Dio. Is that two or three? Is at least two. Oh, you are not kidding. I have not even gotten a single hit in. There we go. One. 
Jesus. Walk him down. <laughs> oh, no, they're... Can they summon two dogs, too? Please, not two dogs. Jesus. Alright. As long as they just keep doing the predictable thing, I, I got this. I don't think I have any extra lives, though. Shit. Come on, just do the charge. Don't, don't shoot me. Shit. Okay, there's... Let's think this through. Let's just run around, <laughs> grab some health, and then I should be good, right? You're not super fast. Alright. Now I'm probably in a better place to do this. Ah, nope, too slow. Okay, I'm already low on health again. Fucking dog. Oh, come on. No! Okay, you were not kidding. <laughs> Jeez. Please don't tell me there's another fight with three of them down the line. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Mentally prepare myself. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, got 200 health, 31 armor. I got this. Piece of cake, right? Nope. <laughs> Fuck, okay, got stuck. Nope. And then the BFG stuff doesn't even work on them, right? Maybe the Unmaker does, though. Nope. They do not like that. Find someone to chainsaw. One, two, nope. Shit. No, stop using projectiles. Just do your main melee, please. Shit. Alright, come on. Oh, there we go. One down. We got this now. One. Shit. Alright. <laughs> oh, Christ. Please don't tell me there's more. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad if I die here and I have to redo all that. I mean, at least they got the tough part out of the way in the beginning, right? That's something.
at that armor. I was gonna be a tyrant. Thankfully, it was not. I am really liking this DLC so far, holy shit. There's nothing quite like these encounters in the main campaign. It just keeps on freaking going. Oh, is there two? There is two, Jesus freaking. Okay, um, we're gonna have to keep our distance. Let's just use the, uh, I'm tired of calling it the wrong name. What's this called? Um, the Ballista. I keep calling it the uh, Siege Cannon because that's what it was in the first one. Oh, shit. Oh, oh he was freaking pre firing around the corner, really? They've been playing Siege lately or something? They are so much smarter now. Let's try to freeze one. So we get some. Nope, can't even get shotgun shots in because I've got freaking blocks. Alright, killing these mobs probably isn't gonna get me anywhere. I need to focus on the tyrants. One. Oh, come on. No! That did. Guys are definitely just gonna keep spawning, so I need to. Where'd they go? Okay, that one's down. Where's the second? Second one? I don't recall. Yep, there it is. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, that would have been bad if the Marauders spawned at the end. Why is music coming back? Is this not the end of the fight? Please? I did it. <laughs> oh, I am really fucking liking this expansion. It is a straight up dickhead, but it is good. I don't trust you, Samuel. I'm inclined not to. You kind of did a real dickhead move at the end of 2016. And now, they will fear you. No more Robo Jesus, please. We have been allies for some time now. I know who you were the moment you set foot in our and who you could become to us. I brought you to the divinity machine and gave you your power. Where would all of this be now had I not had the foresight to create? You, your gifts are owed to us now. Repay the Father for all he has granted us both by returning him to his throne. And then, he will save us all. I have a good feeling that we're either going to get betrayed or we're just going to have to wind up killing him one way or the other. Uh, is it? Yes, I think this is an incredibly fun DLC and I, I'm kind of enjoying the dickheadishness of it. I can see why it would turn a lot of people off though. Jesus Christ, that was freaking intense. That. Like, so many of the fights in the base game only last, like, what, maybe a minute or two? That was just, like, a full-on seven-minute freaking battle arena. Dr. Hayden is the Seraphim. He's been with us the entire time. Okay. I am sorry. There's no need for... You need to see this, because he's not well. Something is happening, and nobody here knows what's wrong with him. Well... We don't know yet. The father's life sphere sits atop the Ingmore Sanctum, located in the blood swamps of hell. My body is undergoing rapid transfiguration. It is why I need the father. Reach the tomb and acquire the father's life sphere and bring him back into physical form. I will not be able to join you. Makers cannot set foot in the dark realm. I will be waiting for you at the sanctum. Yeah, they kind of did just like exposition that it's for info on you. I have the blood swamps location online. Be grateful. Despite your transgressions, you are given the honor to serve the gods yet again. I like how it's progressively sounding a little bit more like Hayden. But yeah, there is no way in hell we are not going to have to kill the Seraphim at the end, whether it's fully the Seraphim or Samuel. I don't I don't trust Samuel for, for jack shit. Blood Swamps. I believe this is actually referenced in the main game, too. I guess we're actually going to it now. objective states that you're going to destroy the sphere, not retrieve it. That is 
not, sir, what Dr. Hayden, the, uh, the Seraphim, has requested of us. Uh, you. Yeah, well, we have a steeped history and, uh, not doing what Sam wants. He wants us to save Argent Energy? No, we're gonna destroy it. And, uh, we don't really give a fuck, so... <laughs> um, can I go in there? Oh, what the... Jesus. That is a freaking big old tentacle. Can I even kill this thing? Oh, I guess so. That is definitely new. Collectibles I missed? No. Oh, wait. The something right here. Have to go from the other side. Um, looks like you can go to it from over here. Should I double back? I'll double back just to be on the safe side. Yeah, like Jaw Muncher said, um, this is a good enough formula for a Metroid 4. It's got the exploration, at least. Really digging this environment. There wasn't really anything like this in the original. Or the Peace game, I guess. Get this going. And of course, get stopped by the terrain. So, never mind. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Fuck the dog. Pods keep gassing me up. Fuck your dog. There we go. I guess I'm not really going to use these, but I'll take them. Alright, so we will go through here eventually, right? Because there's the main objective. There's something right beneath.
Was that the thing I s Yeah, that was. Okay. I don't like being defenseless underwater. Kind of hard to see the map from here, though. Did I get that one up down there? I did. Man, the more I do, the more it is. Oh, Jesus, freaking. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, yeah, the more I'm doing, engaging more of this platforming, um, more and more I'm convinced that this will just make for a good uh, Metroid game. You know, I'm going to take a quick uh, break just so I can use the restroom. I will be right back.
Alright, and we are back. Whew. That was a real dickhead Mackie spot. <laughs> That's the key that opens the entrance to the father's tomb, which, according to our data, should be on the crest of a mountain just beyond this altar. That is the origin of the father's realm. I like how it just literally labels him as an intern. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a name outside of that. Alright, so that is a boss battle. Um can't be any harder than two marauders at the same time, so I'm feeling confident. Okay, so we can't do the boss battle yet. We have to Oh, we we gotta choose where we go first. Um, and there's a secret encounter in both. So let's go left first, because left is right, right is not right. Hey Nitro, how's it going? Have you come to laugh as I die miserably? <laughs> come on, respawn. There we go. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Just beat Hades for the first time. That is yet another reminder that I have to frickin hurry up and buy it so I can play it. I feel you though when you were um because what you had, you had mentioned that you had got into the end, the final boss. You had him at 20% health and then you died and then like the immediate run after that you just you you wiped it uh, pretty early or something, right? I've had that countless times with uh Souls game and whatnot, and then, you know what else actually comes to mind is probably Mega Man games, like if you're fighting uh, Sigma or whatever in the X series. You got him at 10% health on the first health bar. Turns out he has two. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. I know um, it's a little bit more painful, and um, let's see where do I go up here? I know it's a little more painful in like the um oh, I fucked up that jump. Oh! Still alive though. Let's just submit my defeat though. Um Like in the Mega Man X series, you have health tanks that you have to use in order to regain health, and it takes a long time in order to get that energy back up so you can reuse them. So you have to be really confident before you use them because otherwise you're grinding out like one or two enemies. Um, to get those health tanks back up so you can be viable on another run. And, oh, those are not good memories. <laughs> Love those games, but really wish that, those, that they didn't function like that. Alright, where is that totem? There, you're locked away? What? And that's a Marauder. Are you guarding this or something? At least I'm doing pretty good against it. Shit. Do not pin me against the wall. Alright, maybe two more hits. Oh, there we go. No one to warn you that Hades just pops back up a second time, bearded asshole. <laughs> and you hate this encounter, do you? I'm surprised I got away so easy with that Marauder. I think, at this point, I'm just happy that there wasn't two at the same time. 
But yeah, I, I'm not a fan of uh, bosses with multiple health bars. If, if they're gonna have them, tell me up front. Because the second that, uh, that the second one pops up, I'm just like, I feel such despair now. Okay, so I want that. Okay, there's there's a grating right there. Which I can use to get where exactly. There we go. Thank you, uh, demons, for highlighting exactly the things I need to punch. Okay, the spirit can possess demons, making them tougher. Possess demon is killed, the spirit becomes exposed, making it vulnerable to the plas. I don't even use the microwave beam mod. So I specific. Okay, so I specifically have to use a the micro beam. Okay, that is slightly annoying because I don't prefer using that mod. But I guess I'm gonna have to. Okay, well, we aren't kidding when he said it makes him tougher. Alright, um... There we go. Well, I'm gonna swap that back. Like, maybe I'm just stuck in my ways, but I like the mods that I've gotten used to. They suit my playstyle. So when it tells me, nah, you gotta, you gotta use what we want you to, I'm like, eh. At least you're finding very interesting ways to force you into new tactics, I guess. I, I'll give them that. Plus, it kind of helps spice things up since you already have everything maxed out by default here. One, one, and pop up two. One. Two, still not dead. I really need to get Hades. Is it still only on um, Steam and the Switch? I guess the Switch would probably just be the best place to play. It's not graphically intensive. I think I'm just in such a PS5 mood just because that's the shiny new box I have. that down in my notes for when I talk about this on the podcast. Big giant tentacles. In case you thought the smaller ones were uh, nasty enough. Okay. Uh, that's a lost life. Anyone I can farm? I have not started Mafia 1, but I have I, it is currently sitting installed on my PS5. That is very soon on my to-do list. I'll probably wind up doing it right after um, Yakuza 6. And I'm kind of close to finishing that. It's always hard to tell with Yakuza because they suppose if like, you engage with a side content, they can be like 30 hours or something. But like Yakuza 5, I put 120 hours and I didn't even like nearly complete like everything. I gotta be honest, the thing that sold me the most on um, 
playing Yakuza, I was watching a, a Let's Play by Rage Select. It's a small little Let's Play channel that's run by the guys that used to do the video game portion of uh, Spill.com. And uh, I don't know, just like watching like the first 30 minutes of the of the narrative. I don't know, it just it just hooked me. Maybe I'm just a sucker for mafia stories. But the way it was told and the way it looked so spruced up from the original release was just like, wow, this uh, deserves some attention. And it was on sale on um, PSN at least for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So I think it's like 40 standard, right? I guess I could check my email like for the receipt, but it was cheap. Anything over there? No, that's where I came from. What are you? More armor? Yeah, I guess we can take a quick look. Um, that is... The button presses will always throw me off. We have Doom Eternal here. Yakuza. I have not touched the campaign for this at whatsoever yet. Siege once in a while. Crash, which I've started. I have not started this. I did play the original. <laughs> the only reason I downloaded it, to be honest, was to get the uh, Platinum because I had it originally on the PS4. And then, yep, sure enough, there's Mafia. It's, uh, it's UI could, or UX, I guess, could really use some sprucing up. It's foggy. I'm gonna have to mark this down in my notes too, I guess. Oh, that's a stupid ghost thing. I'll stick with the microwave beam. Not like I really use a plasma rifle that much anyway, to be honest. Alright. Um, there's some hidden stuff over there that I'll get to eventually in a secret area right behind me. It's just hard to tell with all this, uh, can I even reach it from here? I do not think so. Alright, so we got a time... Oh no, that's the gate. It's not a time thing. And so I have to go through there. That didn't lift up, did it? No, so I'm pretty sure I have there's a separate way I have to take to get over. That wasn't too bad. I am not doing good with my rifle right now. Wow, it actually, oh, I was about to say it put me next to the secret encounter, but I can't actually get to it.
I need to remember to keep doing the flame belts randomly. But how do I get you? It's gotta be something I push onto here. I don't see where the hell I would even get a block from. There's something over here to push. From above, that would be the place then. Okay, so let's backtrace. We're gonna get over there eventually by coming over. So that's probably what I have to do. You know what, let me mark these down as notes real quick, just so I don't forget. Um, t -t 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 I'm just going to type down Metroidvania ex Exploration. Uh, giant Tentacle. <laughs> and Fog. Alright. Probably won't even be, have the chance to talk about this on the podcast till. Not even this week, probably next, because we still have the rest of the um, categories to do. Wait, there's invisible frickin' whiplashes? I can't even lock on, which is the best way to kill them. Okay. And he has a sword? Or did he always have that? Damn, I can't even use my shotgun hook. You are not kidding, do you? Come on. There. Pop it. There we go. And who the heck is this bot in chat? You are banned. Bye bye. You are so not kidding, to you. <laughs> All right, there is those things over there. That seems a bit more separated. No idea how I'm gonna get over there though. Or is it just you guys? That song was pretty cool. There's my big ol' block. That's gonna fall right into place. There we go. But what's over here? I oh, know that's just the way back, okay.
I kind of like the, not even slow-mo, just stops on your final kill, because that looks pretty freaking sweet. All right. Um, still no idea how I get to you. Wait, there is a little thing down here. Okay, so I have to go into the swampy area. I didn't, I didn't, don't know why I didn't see that before. So let's just get that out of the way. Should be right. There we go. I have no idea why I didn't play this earlier. I guess I can just jump up over here now. behind the giant door kind of surprised Acting up a little bit. It's my no, so I'm still at one. Should be fine. Okay, I should swap to a different gun because that made me lose my momentum. Oh, that was not it. Um, let's swap to you. Faster here. Wait, did I fuck that up? Or am I supposed to? Okay. Where am I supposed to go with that last platform then? don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, I'm probably missing something very obvious and it probably isn't the game's fault, knowing me. Alright, so here... There we go. I kept looking the wrong way. That's the issue. There we go. Totally Metroid. And what's over there? That's the main way to go. Okay, um, freeze. God, 
I gotta keep remembering a flame belt, otherwise I'm not gonna have a constant set of armor going. I would really hate for the people that had a hard time with base the, the base Doom Eternal to uh, play this because I don't think they would enjoy it at all. Like if, if your complaint was that there's too much in the base game, uh, this does not remedy it in the slightest. Okay. Oh, there's a panel behind me. There's another thing over there, though. I think that's where I'm supposed to go, though. Did I miss that BFG ammo? I'm, I'm full up anyway. This screams combat arenas. Um, did I miss one collectible? No, that's the other secret arena. I have not even been over there. Okay. Alright. Spawn in. I know you're going to, so just do it. Don't want to grab that yet. Is no one going to spawn? Am I missing something very obvious? 40... Oh, it's this thing. Told him? Oh, shit. I am getting the fuck out of here then. There we go. Second, I will be right back, okay?
my father was kind enough to bring me a burrito. Awesome. Another... You can't just spawn a totem midway. That is... Illegal. Alright, I'm... Primarily gonna be focusing on trying to find... Okay, that's the wrong way. Let's, let's not go that way. I'm guessing it's on the bottom. Because the other one was up top. If I felt like being a spicy developer, that is exactly what I would... Nope! Never mind. That was up top also. Okay, I need to swap my controllers real quick, because that would suck if it doesn't uh, pause right after. Thankfully, I have two controllers, and I have the little charging station. Tyrants. Thankfully, there's no Marauder. Please don't spawn a Marauder. Actually, you know what? Let's get this going. Hell yeah. Let's try to... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do, but I will take it. I'm dead. You know what? Here. Alright, now... Microwave... No! No, 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 no! I need to kill... And you've already jumped into another one. That is... A highly disagreeable action that you have decided to partake in. I'm dead. Fucking phantom demon spirit thing, whatever you want to call it. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> you were not kidding. Alright, buff totem, let's get rid of that. I think it was somewhere around here, up top. It wasn't even super well hidden. There we go.
Yeah, this encounter is something else. Totem. Okay. That is a tyrant. That is not here. Let's punch you. There's so many of them. I think I've got it now. Need ammo. Quite bad. The second can't encounter can't possibly be harder, can it? Trying to do this just to meet the father. Thank you, intern. All right, then we just have these two over here. Why is this level so long? <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, for what it's worth, are you even really in hell if you aren't playing this DLC? <laughs> I typically don't even play DLC expansions whatsoever, but this is so worth it. No, mostly heaven. <laughs> what the frick is hitting me? Whoa. Do I need to stay within the doggy's range? Is that what's going on? Yeah. So. You could have told me that, dog. Dog, nope, you are moving way too fast. Even my allies don't want to help me. Hopefully I can grab this collectible whenever I want. No, I don't think I can. I think I have to hurry up and grab it. At least it's not doing that much damage. Okay, you can come back, little doggy. This is a bad dog. That was pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking... Where did you go? Like, no time to rest whatsoever. Oh, fucking really? Marauder in this tight little space. Come 
on health. There we go. Oh, no more dog. Okay. Um, so I have all the collectibles except for the secret arena, which I have to backtrack for, I guess. How do I get to you, though? Mm, to the right. How do I get to... Okay, over here. This needs a switch from that block. We get to that block by doing what exactly? Can I jump from over here? Or will it not let me? No, it will... Oh! No! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it doesn't want me to do that. Um, looks like I have to find the proper way. Which would be how? There we go. Wait. Is this not it? Okay, yeah, it does show the hole right there. I would assume this is how I get in, right? Let me in. Um, no, I guess not. Invisible walls. Okay, here we go. Not a fan of invisible walls. Now we can go back to do what we're supposed to be doing. Which is right over here, right? I'll probably wind up stopping after this level just because it'll be like the four hour mark. I can only take so much high octane action at once. <laughs> gonna be bad isn't it but bad in like the most beautiful chaotic dying way isn't it all right I like platform and let's do this I 
got this. Was I not fast? Oh, I guess I did do it. gonna be something. <laughs> Why are there so many imps right here? I want one tiny little spot. Oh, great. Um, they attack so fast when they're possessed. Holy shit. No. Oh, you know. God damn. I do not like the freaking spirit and the and the freaking uh Barons of Hell. Their melees is too damn fast. <laughs> Jesus. Damn, that wasn't even the battle arena. That was just like the fucking prelude. Is a summoner from Still have plenty of BFGM. <laughs> so that's good. bad so far. Probably gonna get much much worse very soon. Thank you. 
Need ammo. Didn't even take the cannon out? Okay. Uh, fuck that plan, I guess. This weak point is no longer a weak point, it's just a point. Do not run. Oh, I fucking ran out of ammo. No, 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 no. God. Damn it. Okay. That's bad. Raider Zone's about to kill it, too. Just let me kill you. There we go. Okay, this is big BFG time. And the freaking team on still alive. Oh, there's a buff totem somewhere? Oh no, it's you. Not be too hard trials. I, I, I fundamentally disagree. crawling out of the frickin' ground. Okay. I don't think that was as bad as the first one. Many super makers. the shield and I still have a boss fight don't I that's what you were hitting at yeah I see that boss icon <laughs> the eye to damage and ultimately stun it. Once stunned, punch the eye. Okay. At least it's being up front with what you need to do. You don't need to solve a puzzle. Okay. That is moving quite fast, though. Can I not have a Hell Knight trying to kill me?
I've barely even been able to freaking shoot this thing with a helmet. Guess I'll just keep running around. Helmet's too slow. Okay, um, swap weapons. There we go. I'm just gonna focus on that. I gotta say, why am I walking so slow? At least because there's so many enemies, I just keep bumping in there. That was tough. Destroy the father's life sphere. This this is something else. <laughs> that was a good boss fight. very polite for this demon to give us a lift. Literally. I guess it, I don't know, I've got a pretty damn good value out of it already. And Doom Guy's gonna destroy it. Yes. 
is totally gonna throw it, right? Life sphere. He'll take physical form if you do this. I guess let's see what this next uh, intro is and then we'll um, probably wind up ending the stream pretty soon. to go to Erdak, right? This is an Thanks, intern. You're Please a good dude. Evacuate the facility now. So long as you have a life sphere, you can get through to Erdak. Your portal signature will read like you're one of them. Listen, whatever we do, I'm in. You want to wake the devil not so you can help the demons, it's so you can kill their leader once he's taken physical form. And that'll destroy all of them, for good. That right? line seems a little stitched together, audio file-wise. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. I just want to be part of this. I mean, we're about to save the world. Dark Lord has only ever been written about. He's like a decillion years old and hasn't actually even been conjured into any kind of physical form for that long. Nobody even knows what he looks like. So, like I said, I'm in. Portal coordinates set for Erdak in the sixth region of the Equestrian Hold. All right, ready for launch, Doom Guy. <laughs> he just straight up calls him Doom Guy. <laughs> You just had to do that. Oh, that is awesome. That that intern is fucking. That intern is freaking bro of the year. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream just because it's been like almost four hours. Um, thanks for hanging out, Dio. Had a good time with you. I will might stream later, but I'm stuck in quarantine, so I don't really have much else to do for the until I get my results in. Uh, it's vastly shorter, but the final boss can take a while. You'd recommend stopping for now. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good stopping point then. All right, um, for anyone else that may or may not be watching, uh, whether this is VOD or if I upload this to YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. That'd be YouTube and Twitch, as well as Twitter is the best place to keep up to me. All right, see you guys, and thank you, Dio. I'll be on at some point. <laughs> see ya.